tourism season or not, most weekends Virginia City's Bucket of Blood Saloon is standing room only. The Comstock Cowboys have been headlining here for the last decade, but across from the band and around the corner is another attraction catching patrons' eyes for the last 142 years. They'll look from the front door and it just draws them straight to the back. We watch storms come in, we watch the seasons go by. It's absolutely beautiful. The six mile canyon view east of the Comstock is actually around 100 miles long. And just like Virginia City, over the past century and a half, it hasn't changed a bit. The new summer exhibit inside the Nevada Museum of Art shows a similar story around the region. Paintings of Lake Tahoe, Washoe Valley, Pyramid Lake, and so many others are on display by artist Hunts Meyer Castle, a man whose concept of beauty is something many of us will never comprehend. He had to reestablish himself. He had some notoriety for his work in Europe, but then to emigrate to the United States, he had to start off fresh. The German castle fled his home country in the 1930s, just before World War II. His art, once scenic and peaceful, turned dark. You can see that in his work. That really troubled him. But once he came to America and settled in Genoa, he found himself again. This was his art studio until his passing in 1952. His nephew, Bill Brooks, still lives inside. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's good dog. This was the actual studio area to this wall and in this area here. Brooks was seven when his uncle died, but before that he joined Castle when he drove around the region to sketch and paint. I've watched the area here evolve in my 70 some odd years and uh, that evolution, I'm glad to see some of the characteristics remain to some degree. Those inside the Bucket of Blood agree. Thanks to a view, Hunts was once taken by two. I've always wanted to, to paint this view myself, and one day I will. Corey Zam Northen works at the Bucket of Blood and helped paint the saloon's mural. As a fellow artist, thinking of Hunts' life gets emotional. To sit here at a view over a hundred miles and be, to, be able to see such a vast beauty, openness and freedom. I can't even imagine what he thought. I can't even imagine. And on opening night inside the museum, she is not alone. This whole exhibition is emotional for me. I'm uh, seeing some new works that I wasn't even aware of. This is, is the culmination of my aunt's dream. This is an emotional moment for me.